this is amazing. Now I'm going to show you Devin demo to create a WordPress plugin from scratch. I'm going to directly ask Devin and going to exactly show you what it happens. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about how to create a WordPress plugin using Devin AI software engineer. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. If you got access, you can access Devin from preview.devin.ai. There I've clicked start a new session and this is how the response is going to. My name is Devin. I'm a software engineer. Give me a coding task and I will try to do my best to solve it. And on the right hand side, you got snapshot. By default, you have a snapshot. That means a default virtual machine. You can even create a snapshot after a task completes and then save it like this. Here, I've got one snapshot which I've saved. I can click this and I can even load that snapshot and activate it. But for now, I'm going to use the default snapshot. I'm going to ask, create a chatbot plugin for WordPress. The chatbot should be displayed on every page of my website. The chatbot is powered by OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm going to click enter. I'm also going to provide a credential, which is OpenAI API key. I'm going to generate the key from OpenAI website. I'm going to name it as Devin default project and create secret key. I copied the key and pasted it here. Now going to click send. When I click this, I can see my user quota exceeded. So I'm going to use my previous one of the chat. So going to use Python random number package. As I've showed in my previous video, this automatically created a Python package for me and it pushed the information to my GitHub repo as you can see here. Here I'm going to provide OpenAI API key and then click send and going to ask the same question. Create a chatbot plugin in WordPress. It should be in every page. It should be powered by OpenAI GPT-5 Turbo model and then click enter. Now you can see Devin is typing. Devin is thinking. Let's see what it's going to do. I understand you'd like a chatbot plugin developed by WordPress using OpenAI GPT-3.5 Turbo model. I can certainly help you with that. Here you can see Devin is currently working on creating a WordPress chatbot plugin powered by OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo model. I'm going to say, ignore the previous Python package which you created. If you not already watched my previous video, I created a Python package using Devin. I fixed an error in my GitHub account using Devin and few more use cases. I will link that in the description below. So now I'm going to click send. There's an icon here. If I click this, it automatically shows all the tabs. For example, at the top, Devin's conversation, the right hand side, there's a terminal. At the bottom left, you got the browser. On the right hand side, you got the code editor. You can have full screen and the editor expands and you can see the list of files there. I'm going to close this. You can also show the diff in the same editor, which is amazing. You can even download the code by clicking this button. Now I'm going to go back to the normal mode. So in the normal mode, you can see the current focus got changed. Develop the WordPress chatbot plugin and you got the list of things here. Develop the WordPress chatbot plugin brainstorm and plan features, set up the local development environment, test the WordPress chatbot plugin, and then deploy the chatbot plugin. Now we can see Devin is working in the shell. This small icon is where Devin is working. So automatically you can see the Devin icon or the logo changing into different tabs, which means we can understand Devin is working in that tab. Now you can see it's creating a new React app using NPX and it's installing all the required package. Now it's initializing a Git repository. It all got installed and it's ready. Just that you know, the whole session is like a virtual machine or container dedicated for this task. We can terminate the session by clicking this button. You can share the conversation. You can even toggle the stats and you can see the stats here. Session overview, 37 lines of code, 39 minutes worked, 15 messages exchanged, two shell sessions open. Now you can see the Devin icon move to the planner and I'm going to click that and you can see in the planner, it ticked the second box. Now it's going to brainstorm and plan features for the WordPress plugin. Here the response is Devin is setting up the user interface components for the WordPress chatbot plugin using React and Chakra UI. 
now Devin is working in the editor as you can see here you can see created a file called app.js there you can see the code here I'm going to expand that and here you can see the WordPress chatbot plugin folder there you got the chatbot front end source app.js imagine how long it will take for a developer to create this step by step a random number generator is my previous task which I asked Devin to do so you can ignore that for the time being now it is writing more code in app.js file as you can see here in the terminal you can see Devin is currently developing the backend for WordPress chatbot plugin so first it's developing the backend now it created a file called openai chatbot.php you can see the plugin name author is Devin version number 100 and you can see it's going to use Ajax function now you can see Devin is working in the browser it's trying to load the react application and it's trying to test that application you can also see it's running the server using webpack I'm not able to interact with the browser maybe for security reason and you can see it's trying to type a message hello chatbot now Devin is working in the terminal shell you can see it's building the scripts the scripts got gzipped for optimization now I'm going to download all the files now I got the zip folder here I'm going to right click open with archive now I've got a home folder in that there's Ubuntu folder in that you got a random number generator and WordPress chatbot plugin I'm going to right click this and compress this plugin now this got compressed this is how you upload a plugin to WordPress now I have my website running on my local host now going to upload the plugin in the dashboard plugins add new plugin they're going to upload plugin choose file and you can see the file here I'm going to choose the zipped file and click open and click install now now it says installing unpacking plugin installed successfully now I'm going to activate the plugin so plugin got activated so this is a good first step because even for activating a plugin for it to work the code need to be correct in this instance the first step is correct now let's see the chatbot let's go to the home page visit site and you got an error here on line number 21 so I'm going to copy the error code and now I'm going to tell Devin I got an error when installing the and I'm pasting the error and then click enter now Devin is thinking this usually happens when the file it's trying to access doesn't exist Devin is investigating and resolving the file m time error in the WordPress plugin now we can see Devin fixed the issue and now it's zipping those files so that it can be directly installed in WordPress so in, in our previous step we manually compressed those files and then installed it but here Devin is doing it for us now Devin tested the WordPress chatbot plugin locally on all pages hello the WordPress chatbot plugin is ready for deployment please find the attached zip file WordPress chatbot plugin zip and it's telling me the list of steps to follow to install the plugin and I got the plugin here I'm going to click that and download the plugin now the plugin got downloaded going to the WordPress dashboard deactivating and deleting the previous version now going to add new plugin upload choose file and choosing the WordPress chatbot plugin and clicking install and activating the plugin now it's already I'm going to visit the site now I don't see any errors on the page all the errors disappeared but I don't see the chatbot I'm going to ask Devin where can I see the chatbot in the WordPress website I don't see it now Devin is investigating why the chatbot is not visible on the WordPress site now to investigate the error further Devin is asking what WordPress theme I'm using and what it supports so I'm going to provide the URL to the WordPress theme I am using and click enter now Devin did go through the theme files and it confirms that it is compatible and it's giving me some suggestion but when I go and read the code I can clearly see these files are not there build static JS you can see that here also it's not there so now I'm going to say this file I can see these files are not there in the plugins folder that could be the issue can you please verify and fix and click enter I asked Devin make sure all the JS and CS files are inside the correct folder and also informed zip the plugin so that I can directly install so it updated the planner accordingly and you can see it's going to zip the WordPress chatbot plugin at the end I got the plugin here so going to download it now it got downloaded going to the WordPress website again deactivating the old plugin and deleting it now installing the latest downloaded plugin 
which is here clicking that and download and opening it install now now activated the plugin now we are going to test the plugin We're going to browse the website i don't see the chatbot here I'm going to verify if it actually contains those files i can see all the static files are there in the source code i'm going to open a javascript file and i can see it's all working fine similarly the css file and that is also working fine but in the console i see error here so if i could paste the error back to devin then it should be able to fix it but overall the chat plugin is neat and clean with proper structure there is no error in the code it got all the files include those build files so overall i'm happy with the progress one main concern i have is that if you see the time when i started working in this project 9:55 that's when i asked to create a chatbot you can see from that time it took a long time i was going through i was waiting it's 11 now then it's 11:16 11:21 then it went on 12:30 12:44 and finally we got up to here. The response time is slow. That could be because there might be more demand or more people working on this or else the server is currently being extended or optimized just because it's a preview version. So that's one of the main thing uh, for this. Apart from that, I see it's like a friendly interface which planned initially, ran all the shell commands for testing, browsed the chatbot interface while developing, and fix error while running the code. If I nudge it further, probably I can even complete the chatbot plugin, but I'm going to stop it here. I'm gonna try more complex tasks in the upcoming days. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe, and thanks for watching.